Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing big lucky energy a new beginning class. Um, we are honoring uh, the new energy that is um, streaming in, coming in and it's Jupiter entering Aries on December 20th. Jupiter is re-entering technically Aries because it already entered into Aries this year, uh, 2022, around April, May, but then it retrograded. So while Jupiter was traveling through Pisces, this was our dreams, big dreams. Now it's time to put this into action. When we understand the energies we we're working with, we're more apt to uh, consciously use the energy to put it into action or to work with the energy properly. Here in Jupiter in Aries, we're talking about bold action moving forward. Aries is, Aries is a very forward momentum type energy, very decisive, masculine, and we can really create, materialize, bring things into manifestation now that we've been dreaming about, or we can take the steps that are necessary into bring in a dream, a plan, a goal uh, into fruition. So whatever you've been dreaming about, you can take action now. It is big lucky energy. Jupiter is a big benefactor. There is details here because it depends on the placement of your own Jupiter, where it is going through in your chart. But the thing is for all of us, it's a new beginning because it's a brand new 12 year cycle. And the zero degree of Aries is absolute origin, or the uh, origin of the beginning, the absolute beginning. So when Jupiter is in that degree of Aries, that is uh, the beginning of a cycle. We're marking a beginning and that is going to flavor the next 12 years in, in the field of that particular energy, whatever the theme for you is. Now, if you look back at 2010, April 2011, Whatever um, the theme you were working on, whatever happened back then in your life, this is the energy you're working with, uh, with. only you can vortex it, spiral it into bigger energy. Now it's going to be the continuation of that energy in a bigger way, in a, in a, in a more realized way. Um, so that is the contemplation for the class. I don't want to make this any longer. It is big energy. It's lovely energy. It, um, mm, it's working on your dreams, but also it's propelling you to take action uh, in some uh, form. So you can also now it's good time to journal because I find that when I write things on paper, things are more crystal clear for me. I, I really uh, conceptualize things better and then I'm better able to work through things because they're written on paper. There is something about the energy of writing on paper with your hand. Um, the energy is lucky energy and that's exactly what I want you to uh, visualize. We are going to um, uh, begin with one of the circulation classes that I've been teaching and that I will, uh, I've been um, doing um, the second heart program on my website and a lot of the classes are based on um, the vascular system, lymphatic system, uh, so we work on circulation, we work on balance, balance. I, um, with the risk of you hearing me uh, here, uh, having said that before or repeating myself, um, having great balance and maintaining great balance uh, through life is one of the predictors of um, longevity. Um, so it is very important, obviously not the only factor, of course, but as far as whatever is in our hands, keeping your balance is extremely important. I have focused the whole program all of December on balance in very funky new ways, just funky out there, a new movement. Mm, you know, it's now popular. Everybody says they've channeled something new. This is literally new movement coming through, not channeled through. I tap within. <laughs> I don't channel anybody else's energy, I tap within. Um, I am kind of careful whenever uh, everybody talks about channeling because it's a new buzzword and whenever we talk about spirit, I mean which spirit are we talking about because there is a lot of, you know, all kinds of levels of spirit 
and when someone is channeling a spirit we don't know exactly what they're channeling it could be any type of spirit um, and they probably are channeling uh, and oftentimes we are channeling our future self which is our evolved self so there is also that um, that element there but really very important to 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 tune in that's what i try to teach and my goal with teaching is to really um, turn everything inward instead of the whole guru um, culture that we've had to turn inward because there is the inner journey the inner path through the heart this is the um, the, the um, new human uh, the the direction of the new human is the inner journey and moving through the heart mm. So this is big energy. Uh, I'm jumping from that to that subject, but this is big energy with the Jupiter in Aries. It's exuberant. It's it's a it's a more masculine, more uh, forward momentum momentum type energy. Uh, so grab the opportunity, use that energy, and um, wherever it falls in your chart, of course, it will affect that area in your life, and wherever wherever it was for you um, uh, 12 years ago, that's where it's gonna go back to you can work that in a bigger way so you can improve on it or expand that vision um, or that energy um, and i want you to imagine that energy or to feel it to just um, give it some texture feel that energy during the class um, i will focus on um, on balancing moves and circulation because I want you to have some of those classes that I have been giving uh, over to uh, on my website I want you to experience uh, some of those moves and um, I'm preparing oh this is the big announcement I'm preparing um, to launch a Jew, um, a January program uh, that is going to be called body hacking because we're going to work on different um, ways that um, will optimize movement to achieve results and we're going to enhance results through, through optimizing movement um, so um, it's going to be one of those things that in a way it's shortcuts or the way they call it biohacking we're going to find ways that almost create um, an enhanced effect we're going to use effective movement that will give you benefits beyond uh, just you know a 20 minute class we'll work on breath we'll work on uh, balance we'll work on circulation we'll work on strength flexibility fluidity awareness uh, focus and so forth so prepare for that program january is going to be a big way to start the year and to focus to focus forward to have good focus um, right now the energy is moving from more internal to more external to, from more dreamy to more take action uh, put it into action bring it into fruition put it in the world as some as your service or as your uh, dream come true and usually when um, when we have dreams typically whenever it's for our highest good it's also for the highest good of all or in some way it's a service to humanity so whenever we benefit ourselves that often whenever it's for our highest self it's also going to benefit others so this is the action now to take all right that was a big intro so we'll begin and prepare yourself for january i really wanted to make that announcement because get ready it's going to be here free on youtube 30 day uh, classes uh, that are going to be all level so do invite your friends over because it's going to uh, it will be all level uh, if you're a complete beginner it will challenge you but it will be good it will be fun so let's remember to flow with love strength and ease all right starting with side to side steps so big step bend the knee involve the hips and open the arms we want to use multiple muscles the jupiter energy is typically exuberant expansive jovial philosophical worldly or 
aware of cultures. When it's in Aries, of course, the infusion is very strong. It's the, 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 it's the energy of a beginning, especially the beginning of Aries. And we're really having the energy of a beginning. Shorter cycle, 12 year cycle. So it's something that is more something we can experience and see in completion. All right, from here, I want you to circle your legs. This is going to be one of those <laughs> brain exercises. Circle your legs, but also at the same time, draw circles with your uh, arms. Do your best. If you look funky and it's, and it's challenging your brain, well, that's the point. <laughs> Takes a little bit of focus. That's the point. And and now reverse your hands, and you can reverse the the circle with the legs. Woo. All right. From here, open the hands at about heart chest level. And we're going to take a mini plie and open and close. Open, close, open, close, open, close. From here, we're going to step out a little further out and we're going to do plie and then reach the right elbow down, left elbow up. Plie, change, plie, change, Plie, change, right, we're going to evolve it now, clasp, and clasping with the right hand facing you, we're going to do plie and reach the right elbow up, plie, right elbow up, we're doing only one side five times, three, four, five, change, left side, and you can change the grip. Drop the shoulders down. Beautiful. From here, you can draw a circle with your arms. This is moving the energy to the upper, upper back, shoulders, scapula. Bring awareness to those areas. Slow down the breath, right? So deepen the breath. Often slowing down also can you can just have the cue is deep in the breath and that that will also slow it down from here We're going to link the movement with the breath and we're going to Going to plie and come up uh, come up onto the tippy toes plie tippy toes plie tippy toes plie Tippy toes, plie, tippy toes. From here, take squat, um, uh, foot alignment. I don't know if I've mentioned this, uh, the more details about this type of uh, movement will be explained in the January program. I've mentioned, I've explained a lot in the opening for uh, the second heart program. We're working on the second heart, it's anatomical organ in a beautiful way called the second heart and it's just the vascular system in the calves and feet which feeds the blood up or moves the blood up when needed. From here, squat down, lift your heels, drop them down and as you come up, take the left knee up and come onto the tippy toes. Change sides. Change sides, change sides, we'll progress it. So breathe, you really want to anchor the balance through your breath. A few more. Great. From here, we're going to change it. Again, squat position. You can lower down, lift the heels, squat. And from here, we're gonna come up and 
Lift the toes on the right side, lift the left knee and, and twist. Lower down, opposite side, lower down, change, 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 change. Great. A little pause here, lower down, lift the heels, pause here. Drop the heels a few times. And we're going to bring the left knee in, open the left arm behind in a twist, right hand to left knee, and come up onto the, the toes. Change. You can do the heel lift here if you want to slow it down in between each set, optional, and reach on this side. So this requires a lot of balance, and it's one of the best things you can do while, while you're exercising. Do those really important things. The January program will be a lot of cardio too, core, Spiritual stuff, <laughs> practical and spiritual. All right. And from here, we're going to shift the weight onto the right leg and take the left leg in a cross back reach. So it's not a lunge, you're gonna reach the leg behind using the inner thigh. And as you come up here, you're gonna grab your knee and either drop onto your heel 10-ish times, or you can hop with a soft knee, both, both ways with a soft knee 10 times. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're effectively working on the lymphatic system, on the vascular system, and a lot of stomach lymph will be involved here. And we're going to repeat on this side ten times, so nine more times. Take a side lunge, but it's air back side lunge. So you're using your inner thigh, and then you can either drop onto your heel. I've spoke, spoken about reverberation forever. This reverberation that's created sound frequency strengthens the bones and joints. Great, about 10. When I'm talking, I'm not counting most of the time. Four. Five. Getting the strong calves will be amazing for the vascular system. Last one, I really feel it through my quads and calves and just this is really strengthening for the legs. <laughs> Challenging in a good way. <sighs> and it's, as I call this one, the ultimate dip off, dip off pose. I'll give you a progression of it. So let's go over to the other side before I excite you with the progression. Take the right leg back and in the air and come up. Ten. Twenty. Thirty-five. 
30. Forty. We gotta be jovial with this big energy in Aries and Jupiter. <laughs> Keep going, straight back, hinging, soft knees. Couple more. And if you feel you've never done this ever in your life, I don't think you have. This literally came out of <laughs> an inner search. <sighs> All right. So that was the deep of exercise. We're gonna come to the front of the mat so that we can progress this. Take it. <sighs> Take it all the way to the moon. Inhale, reach and exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead, spread the fingers open, plank. Here, we're gonna bring the left knee in and take a chaturanga with a kick underneath, or mini chaturanga that is. Right knee, chaturanga kick. Opposite, kick, one last kick, and take the left leg up. Here, we're going to Jump the right foot to the front, come up and take the right hand to the left knee, look behind you and either do 10-ish, 10-ish, however many you can, knee lifts or little hops. Again, that, rever that contact with the floor, that reverberation is very powerful for your, for your lymphatic system. All the fluids in your body, really. Uh, vascular system, bones, joints, but it has to be done in progression. So if you've been exercising with me, you're totally fine. This is actually a step back from the big jumps we've done for a decade. Um, otherwise, take it easy. Just small hops that progressively increase. Let's go one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to bring the, uh, the fingers pointing at each other, jump. You can do a push up in between and go at it again. Jump in, come up. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Speed it up, push up, jump it in. Straight back, deadlift. One, two. I was asking Johnny what to name this class, and he said, uh, This pose, it's a funky pose, I'll name it Kamenova. He said to me, Name it that. Uh, it's a combination exercise rather than just a pose. Keep going. You got it. You'll be in great shape besides working on almost different systems than the muscular. Never, we don't have anything in isolation ever. Two more. I don't even know if I can. I can. <laughs> That's the whole point of Jupiter and Aries. You can. All right. Ooh, shake it out. This really builds uh, the legs. It removes a lot of the extra fluid from the lymphatic system. I do, I am preparing for January, but I have them in the December program lymph. One class for lymph and one for stomach lymph. 
Leg length, stomach length. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead. Plank. Take the left leg up. And, uh, uh, sorry, take the right leg up and jump the left leg in. Straight back and let's go. Soft knee. You can speed it up. This is actually easier than holding, holding a twist. I think two more, I could be wrong. I can do another rep. Another set, another rep, out of the question. All right, shake it out. And we're gonna bring in circular hip movement. That movement is, has affinity to the liver. Change direction, slow down the breath, deepen it. Take a plie. I'm gonna work on the waistline. Here you're going to lift the right heel and reach towards the lifted heel. Opposite side. Now we're going to reach, lift the left heel, reach over to the right and change. Great. And sit down onto your heels. Bringing the breath back to calm. Get on all fours and we're going to go for cat cow. Let's take the left leg forward, level the hips here and you can lower your chest over the left leg keep the hip square pull the toes back from here shift the hips forward with the hip flexor stretching so as look up you can reach up And let's change. Take the right leg forward, level the hips. Square the hips as much as you can by your own assessment of where you stand in space. Pull the toes back. And again, that recognition of where you're in space is really, really important. 
awareness of your physical position in space. It's one of those <laughs> future senses because we don't always feel exactly how we are located in yoga or um, physical, physical intelligence um, teaches us that. Right, let's stretch it and don't place the weight onto your kneecap, place it above it here. So above that left kneecap. You can press your chin up too, bottom, uh, bottom jaw, bottom lip. Stretching the neck, the jaw. And you can slowly lay down onto your back. Press the lower back onto the floor, right foot on the floor, left leg extends. And you're gonna reach over the head with the right hand, left foot extends, and you're gonna cross them and extend. Cross Mulabanda, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. If I stop counting now, I'll totally prove to you that I can't count. <laughs> uh, you know, we always do a few extra reps in everything. <laughs> One. I was very good at abstract math, but maybe the counting to 10, <laughs> it's a little too <laughs> confining for me. <laughs> Here you get the opportunity to really work by focused, focused awareness or connection to the body with, with the inner, you, you get to feel your deeper muscles um, by using stomach vacuums. Speaking of which, let's, let's go into a stomach vacuum. So I want you to really feel there is a lot of fine tuning you can do nuance here. And release. A reminder, reminder here is Mula Banda, pelvic floor, Jalandhara Banda, throat chakra, Udiyana Banda, which will double as the stomach vacuum in this case. And don't force it. None of this, none of the breath work. Stomach vacuum work, etc., should feel forced and like you're choking yourself or you're like straining your breath or self. Everything should have some form of, especially when we work with deep breath, it should, it should have the, if you were to describe it, the, the good word for it would be depth rather than um, just kind of pure brute force. Uh, we're looking for for a feeling of controlled depth. So we want this to feel really in an embodied way deep. Uh, there is a soothing quality to it. When we deepen the breath, most of the time at least, it, we should feel smooth, fluid, easy, deep breath. So same goes for stomach vacuums. You don't wanna feel like you're just gasping and forcing the stomach in any uh, uncomfortable way and just uh, you know there is this thing no pain no gain that's not the feeling we're looking for i want you to um 
uh, astrology teaches me that qualities, archetypal qualities. So when we get feedback from the body, when we get a feeling, it's 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 communication. We want to feel uh, our breath deepening and our stomach vacuums becoming more. Um, um, better contained or better um, um, I don't want to say controlled but better um, better held maybe it's a feeling it's not that you're controlling it but you're able to navigate it with ease and to deepen it So let's go, Mulabanda, Jalandara, Udiana, ease, flow, emptiness. The pine twist. My point is we don't need to force the body. There is no need for that type of yanking ourselves into a pose. It's very common. I think mostly the ego wants that. Sometimes it's necessary for a job or um, for other reasons but in general for most of us we want to deepen the connection with the body we don't want to um, create an antagonistic relationship all right plow honor honor the glands Here thyroid, but pituitary, uh, pineal as well. Breathe, soften the throat. As you soften the throat, soften your resistance, release your resistance. Allow the flow. allow ease and slowly coming down hug your knees into your chest and lose yourself into yourself travel within um, meet yourself anything that pertains here to moving inward that is the message of the era of where we're moving on as humanity towards new earth into a new epoch it's going to be the self-led journey the journey the inner uh, journey the the guidance within so it's going to be less external than it's been and a lot more internal. We're going to have to develop deeper intuition. Um, and that comes from better knowing ourselves too. So it comes from sitting with ourselves, releasing resistance so that we can free more um, space to be there for others. We uh, learn who we are so that we can serve better, not so that we can open more and more rabbit holes of where to heal. Uh, we don't want to fall into the addiction of continuous what's wrong with us and who hurt us and victim cycle and victim vortex and endless healing journey physical or psychological. We want to we wanna also see the wholeness within how healed we are already so feeling that 
wholeness, experiencing your own self as whole and healed and completed. And um, the irony or the paradox here is that even though we're whole and completed, we're also continuing that journey towards wholeness. We're residing in timelessness, so we're in the now, but we're at the same time in the future, in the past, we're everywhere at the same time because it's all one. And really the meeting point here for everything is the heart and from there the inner self, which is the apex, the nexus point that will propel us towards the new human, which is a more realized human that operates at the frequency of love. So stay here and I'll see you in January with uh, the 30 day program and uh, I'll see you also on the website with the second heart program, but stay here and just allow yourself uh, to meet yourself, to be with yourself, to allow yourself to be healed. And remember to flow with love, strength, and ease. Namaste.